Hi, my name is Al Romani. I'm the technical lead for the Nginx agent. And today I'm just going to show you uh, open sourcing the Nginx agent and uh, some demos around that. So the agenda is just an Nginx agent overview. There'll be uh, an explanation of the Nginx agent architecture some key Nginx agent features, uh, where to get the Nginx agent and its releases, an Nginx agent registration demo, an Nginx agent configuration demo, and an Nginx agent metrics demo. So the Nginx agent is a lightweight piece of software that can be installed next to Nginx open source and our Nginx Plus, which sits on what we call the data plane. It provides local interaction with Nginx instances to allow administrative actions to be carried out. So the Nginx agent provides following um, information on an Nginx instance, or it manages the Nginx instance configurations, it, it reports on metrics from the logs predominantly for OSS and then and the API from Plus. It also uh, provides metrics for a system it gathers a key set of data plane events. So the Nginx agent is written in Golang and it uses protobuf for its data contracts. So this is the overview of the Nginx agent architecture. It's very simple. Uh, it provides a set of plugins uh, realizing this interface using a message bus. The message pipe is the wrapper around the message bus. And then it's an in-memory messaging system and each plugin realizes the, the topics it wants to subscribe to. So it follows the interface for initialization, processing some of the messages um, and the messaging pipe registers those plugins and delegates the information between them. An example of the messaging between it may be like, the message struct here with a particular topic and an optional data payload. So it's an event-driven architecture with the mes centralized messaging system. The message pipe uses the in-memory message bus and leverages the tailored plugin subscriptions. And then in addition to that, the Nginx agent has an SDK to reuse some protobuf definitions and helper functions to help you build your own um, your own control plane. Some key features of the Nginx agent are registration. So when the Nginx agent registers, it informs the control plane of uh, Nginx and host information and some data plane software information. It, it handles Nginx configuration management, both upstream and downstream. As of Nginx R27 and above, it supports Nginx plus counting. Um, it reports on metrics uh, information from Nginx OSS and plus the host real and virtual, so Docker and OCI metrics, um, they, which is the open container initiative. Uh, reports on the data plane health, so whether it's running the health of the Nginx instances and some additional host information. It provides process watching capabilities to monitor Nginx process changes, including workers. Uh, it watches the file system for through a loud list of directories it can watch, particularly to monitor Nginx configuration changes locally on the data plane. It reports on um, activity events, key activity events on the data plane, like agent start and stop events, config apply, success, failure, and rollback events, Nginx process, and worker start, stop, and reload events. And it also reports on TLS certificate information. Let me show you the Nginx agent GitHub repository. So this is the Nginx agent GitHub page, which is available on this URL. And just to give a quick overview of, of this repository, so I mentioned the SDK and the SDK is listed in the, is in the SDK folder, which has some protobuf definitions. One example is just in the agent proto here, there's an agent connect request, 
which has some information around the Nginx instances, the host and data plane software details. There's additional proto definitions here. You can check them out or, or you can review the documentation. And then there's some helper functions in the config apply and config helpers that may be useful if you want to build your own control plane. In addition to that, the plugins are listed under the plugins folder, which are modular pieces of software. For example, the commander is responsible for handling commands from the control plane. There's some events information like activity events, data plane status, uh, file watcher capabilities, and metrics. So one example is the metrics struct here provides a new metrics plugin, which initializes the plugin using the interface realization that I showed earlier. And there's a process function to act on message topics in the subscriptions listed here. So the subscriptions are a list of the topics that this particular plugin is, is interested in. And just to show for the next slide, there'll be some information on the releases. So you'll see the releases listed here. So there's one example here where there's a packages.zip. So this is where you'll be able to get the binaries for the Nginx agent. That's the Nginx GitHub repository. And you can see the Nginx agent releases information here. So I showed you where you can get it in the GitHub repository, but you can also download the packages from packages.nginx.com slash Nginx agent. You need Nginx plus keys for this. So the Nginx agent supports the same set of releases that Nginx supports, same OSs. So that's Alpine Linux, Amazon Linux 2, CentOS, Debian, FreeBSD, Oracle Linux, Red Hat, Enterprise, Suzy Linux, Enterprise Server, and Ubuntu with the above versions. We'll keep lockstep with the Nginx releases. The next thing I want to show is the Nginx agent registration demo. So on my system, there's currently an Nginx instance running. And you can see it here. And that Nginx just has two workers associated with it. And it's an open source Nginx. So in the Nginx agent SDK, there's an examples folder which lists a server, which is a mock control plane. And that mock control plane you can run and it should interact with the Nginx agent. So the mock control plane currently starts on two different ports. One is HTTP, which serves a web page, And then the second port is gRPC. And that gRPC is for gRPC communication with the agent. So to run the agent in the main directory of the agent, um, you can do a go run and that will start the agent locally for you. First though, I just wanna show you the Nginx agent config, which uh, I've updated to include the gRPC port for the server for localhost. So this is the, the port that the server has been served on. And when I run the Nginx agent, it, it will start up and it will connect with the control plane and do a registration handshake. So you can see a, a series of the plugins initializing on the console here. And what happens is the server receives an agent connect request from the agent with some information ab about the data plane. And then the agent receives an agent connect response from the mock control plane with a set of configs um, that request uh, 
an nginx id to upload its config for that particular nginx instance the agent then sends the configs in chunks and the server receives the chunks so on the mock control plane you'll see some registered information around the agent which is the display name of the data plane and, and a system UID we generate. Then there's the details of the Nginx instances. So this one, it, we generate an Nginx ID for the conf fat is listed and the process path for the Nginx instance. There's also a set of runtime modules which, and loadable modules. There's no loadable modules on this, but the runtime modules that are loaded in, whether it's a plus instance, whether what SSL information has, and some of the configure args that you see, including the prefix and the BIM path around the Nginx information. There's also host information sent as part of the registration, which is Mac OS um, Darwin X8664, which has listed this partition's network interfaces um, and IP addresses, processor information, some release information, and a loud list of directories that it can watch against. And then you can see some Nginx information, which is just a list of the Nginx's simplified for reference. So since the configs got uploaded from the agent on this API, you can list the config data, and as you can see, the contents of the config is in binary format. So the Z config lists the binary representation, the, the con files that are associated with the main Nginx configuration. And this is using the proto format that's listed in the SDK. It also references the access logs and error log information, the SSL if there's any, and some directory map around the directories associated with the nginx config so you can see the nginx con file listed there how the config is sent is we split it into chunks so this is a representation of what the payloads look like over the wire so there's a header chunk which lists four chunks which splits the data basically into multiple messages and then we stitch them back on the other side so you can see there's four chunks listed here. So it starts at chunk ID zero, goes to chunk ID one, two, and three. And that's the information that's, the, that's sent across the wire. And then on the server side, you can see under the raw, it lists the conf, uh, nginx.conf contents. So this is the local contents for my nginx conf to give us a simplified version of what happened. The agent started up and it populated the host information and the Nginx details information to send in the agent connect request across to the server. The server then received that connect request and built up an agent connect response asking the agent to upload configs for specific Nginx IDs associated with the system. Then the agent sent for each request, it chunked the data and sent it to the server. And the server just assembled the data chunks and put it into an Nginx config proto. So next I'll just show you a, an Nginx configuration demo in addition to that. So this is just another server start again. So it just did the same process as last time. And then on my local machine, I'll show you that there's an Nginx conf. And then in the Nginx conf, I add these two comments for the demo. So I'm just going to take these out and what'll happen is the Nginx agent will watch for the configuration changes. And then you'll see that it prompted another upload 
of the Nginx configuration and it chunked it again. So the server received the chunks um, and we can show you that now in the UI. So if you go back to the UI to list the configs, you'll see that there's still an Nginx conf file with the chunked information and it's still in the raw config. There shouldn't be any Nginx agent demo or any version a demo. So if you go into see the raw config, the comments are gone. So that was the Nginx configuration demo. And then I'll show you an Nginx agent metrics demo. So there's a metrics catalog listed on this link. You can see the metrics catalog in under the Nginx instance manager metrics catalog. And one of the metrics we're going to look for is the Nginx workers CPU total. So if you go back into the metrics being reported by the agent and received by the control plane, you'll be able to find multiple reports for Nginx workers CPU total. So this you can see different values across different metrics reports. The list of them are here. So just to reiterate, it depends on which version of Nginx you have. You can see Nginx prefixes is either open source or both and plus prefixes for plus. We also report some agent information and some host and system information. So that concludes the demo. So thank you for watching.